All right, everybody, welcome back to the office. So uh, this is going to be a Dan Clip exclusive. And uh, if you don't know, we created Dan Clips off of our primary channel, which is uh, Digital Asset News or, or Dan. And the reason we did it was for two reasons. First of all, uh, sometimes I get a little loquacious and I start to ramble and uh, the videos go for like 30, 40 minutes sometimes. And uh, so what I try to do is just break it down into clips. So instead of having 40 minute uh, video, you have five to seven minute clips that you can just watch at your leisure and it doesn't take too much of your time. Uh, the second uh, idea was we wanted to make a second channel just in case YouTube shut our primary down because YouTube likes to do that stuff. I don't understand why, but uh, they sure do. Anyhow, so today's cue of the day, it wasn't really, really a question. It was a, really a comment of the day. This is something that I had talked about uh, previously. I had shared a video from CryptoNobs. CryptoNobs had done a video on, it was Aave. Uh, Ave or Lend, and he was talking about uh, mortgage lending is going to be put on Ave. I thought it was a pretty pretty cool idea. I mean, it's uh, ripe with with risks, that's for sure, and you can lose a lot because of the bugs are in there. But I thought it was a a good step in a right direction. Again, probably very buggy, and uh, probably a lot of people won't get into it initially. But I can see the potential, and that's why I was so excited about it. So I put it out there, and uh, there was a couple comments that you know look good, look good, look good. However. Uh, Audrey San, San uh, and rightfully so, said, hey, uh, if you watch the same video I watched, then I don't see anyone want to be involved in a scheme like this one. If you want real estate, then buy real estate. If you can't afford it, then you probably shouldn't even be doing it. Uh, same story as ever. People with no money, gambling a little bit they have, hoping to get rich quick, like an ICO. Uh, and uh, they say, I'm sorry if it's a long rant, but it's hard to watch my favorite channel advertising this C crap. Casino scheme called DeFi lending farming collateralized BS. So first of all, thanks, favorite channel. I'll take it. Uh, that's that's uh, that, that's what the whole channel is. I, I never try to censor anybody or uh, get on anybody's case. Everybody's got some ideas, and they're all, for, for the most part, they're all valid. Like this is a this is a pretty good concern. So what I had to do is I had to you know uh, backtrack, and I want to make some points. First of all. CryptoNobs in the video talked specifically how uh, this could be ripe for problems and he talked about exactly what, what the article stated. But if you don't know, I'm just going to go over the article itself real quick and I'll give you my thoughts. So uh, this, was, this was actually in September 2nd. This is an old article and it says Ave announced yesterday, I guess September 1st, that it's working with Realty, a company devoted to the tokenization of real estate to let people stake their tokenized real estate as collateral to take out loans. So first off, um, to me, that doesn't sound like uh, too fantastic of an idea, although people do it all the time. They take out secondary mortgages, they go to the bank, they have to jump through a bunch of hoops, they have to run their, uh, their credit report, which affects uh, their credit for the big three. And then they hopefully uh, get this mortgage payment at who knows what, what kind of interest rate it is. Uh, not like an initial, an initial mortgage is really low, right? I think it's like 2.5, 2.35, maybe 2.75 right now, I don't know. Uh, but for, for a refi, uh, it's a little bit higher, so just so you know. But uh, that whole thing about taking out a loan on, on the blockchain with a smart contract, I mean, the question that I have is how well is this smart contract written uh, because it could be buggy and then what could happen? Catastrophe. So uh, that's the first part. Uh, then this part, which is what I was excited about really, was token. it says tokenizing real estate is nothing new. Instead of buying a whole house, which is very expensive, users can buy shares in houses. Uh, tokenized houses can be traded in Uniswap, and anyone can buy even a piece of property. Stanny Kulichev, I'd probably butcher that, founder of Ave, told Decrypt. So a couple of things to unpack here. Tokenization of real estate, I have always thought, is a fantastic idea. Because here's the thing. If you've watched YouTube for a while, there's a lot of gurus out there. Gurus, and they'll tell you everything that you need to do and that you're not doing, and you have to follow them and pay them a bunch of money because they're the gurus. And uh, it's just a, just a lord of nonsense, uh, just a load of nonsense. Um, but some of these gurus were, were talking about Airbnb and the way to do Airbnb is to uh, rent out houses. And I, this is what's going on. You can, you can search on YouTube. You can go to houses that are being rented for long-term rentals. Go to the uh, landlord or whoever owns a house and go, hey, I would like to rent your house. But what I'm going to do is I will definitely pay you for uh, every month on time but what I want to do is I don't want to live there. I want to rent this out as an Airbnb specifically. So whatever I make, I keep, but I will always pay every month. And some landlords, I mean, a lot of them actually did it. And they said, sure, go ahead and do it. 
So this was a great, I mean, this was, I wouldn't say it was a great, it was a lucrative uh, opportunity for people and they were making millions. Now here's the problem. Coronavirus came about, COVID-19. Now you have people who are not traveling, who do not want to stay in houses where other people have stayed and who knows how well it is disinfected and a host of other problems that went along with that. People were getting laid off, they, could, they didn't have enough money to travel, blah, blah, blah. So guess what happened? The market tanked. And actually Airbnb was supposed to IPO recently and their valuation was super high. When this happened, it tanked and went down to the ground and here we have a, a huge problem. So um, I thought when I heard about tokenization a year or two ago, I thought this would be a, a great opportunity to, instead of you know, going and doing uh, these types of things where like you would uh, rent uh, somebody's house, you could, you could tokenize a, a real estate asset. Let's say you know, you're know you gonna get a house for, okay, I'm gonna throw some numbers out here. So wherever you're at, don't uh, crucify me. So if you're in LA, a thousand square foot home could be half a million dollars. It could. If you're in El Paso, uh, a thousand square foot home could be $80,000. This is how it is. So let's just work with round numbers and we'll just say a thousand dollars. So you're like, okay, I want to buy a house for a thousand bucks, but maybe I am very liquid, but my credit sucks and the bank's not going to give me a loan because that's what the banks do. They say, well, you know, you may have a lot of money, but your, your, but your um, credit score, because <laughs> your credit score uh, is just tanking. So what you could do then is you say, well, uh, all right, I'm going to go and I'm going to go into this type of program where I'm going to tokenize and I'm going to put in like, you know, what, whatever I want to put in and maybe get like five or six other people. You could tokenize the house and off you go. And then you could all rent it out and it would be a smart contract and off, you know, be hopefully fantastic. The problem is, is that, again, how well is that smart contract written? The other way, and this has already happened, is where you can tokenize condos in a very rich uh, area, let's say upper Manhattan. And you say, well, I don't have a million dollars but I believe that that is going to rent out pretty well. So I want to get into that token sale of those condos and I'm gonna put whatever I have and the return comes in for whatever the renters are and everything else. So it's like a long-term type of thing. I could see that, definitely could. Um, the next part here where it says tokenized houses can be traded in Uniswap and anyone, in, anyone can buy even a piece of property. Uniswap, again, how are you going to control that? How are you going to go Okay, well, you know, this gets swapped out. Who has a title? Who's in control of all the paperwork? Who says, uh, you know, as far as how many payments are going to be made and over what time period and so on and so forth. So it seems very uh, shifty to me, but who knows? And then the next part says Florida-based Realty has taken things one step further. Uh, they want to stake real estate tokens uh, as collateral for loans. So essentially you would put up your property and say, okay, I'm going to get in... Um, uh, whatever token, I guess, I guess an Aave, and they would give you Aave, or they would give you whatever cryptocurrency, and then off you go. Again, seems kind of risky because you know you have to pay that loan back, and just like it states going further in the lower part of the of the article, it says the the space is still rife with vulnerabilities. What happens if you can't pay back just even five dollars of your DeFi loan? So let's say the loan is you know fifty thousand dollars and you get it all the way down to the end and like you just miss a $5 payment. So what happens to the title? Where does it go? And then what about if someone hacks Aave or steals your private keys and lend out your house to get a flash loan? And this is like uh, the things that would happen like the early 1900s, you know, they always say, well, I have a bridge to sell you because uh, there was a gentleman in New York who sold, uh, or no, I think it was Brooklyn. He sold the Brooklyn Bridge like 10 times to different people and he was like, he made a ton of money. So uh, you can fact check me in, in, the, in the comment section, but uh, someplace in New York, I thought it was a Brooklyn Bridge, but I could, be, I could be mistaken. So the whole thing is, it's not about like, this is what you're gonna do tomorrow. This is not gonna happen tomorrow. This is not gonna happen in a month. This is, uh, I mean, it might happen, but I'm not gonna be invested in it, but it's all about seeing where the space can actually grow to. Because what we're talking about, I mean, I've done, I mean, I've done mortgages for multiple houses and refinances and everything else and property for land and property for businesses. And I got to tell you, it is a pain in the tail to jump through all those hoops. However, to jump through all those hoops, there is security. So with this situation, uh, I wouldn't invest because of what's going on. I am more on the, uh, the, the guideline of thinking, you know what? I think what I'll do is I'll just sit on the sidelines and be a spectator instead of a speculator. 
and that's it. So tell me what you think in the comments section. And that is it for uh, Dan Clips. If you like this type of video, there's gonna be two more that's gonna pop up on your left and right, not sure uh, which one. It's, uh, you know, YouTube kind of controls that. And that is it for today. So thanks so much. See you on the next